linked to the drop in the Bitcoin pricing, um, mm -hmm. we see that uh, miners are actually struggling to um, remain profitable in in actually generating Bitcoin, validating yeah. transactions. And so there are many uh, questions that are being asked about uh, how to uh, maintain the, the network while miners are basically not being profitable. So yeah. this is something we always hear when we pass the, um, the halvening, right? And then follows not directly the rise of the price. And then we end up in a, in a time where miners are not profitable, exactly like in the bear market. So no. I think we would so, hear about know, that more and more every, as the, the yeah. revenue for mining blocks gets lower and lower, right? I think it will become a problem. Yeah, it's now, so now for whatever energy they were spending, they were getting, you know, X uh, Bitcoin. And now those same miners with the same energy are, are getting X over two Bitcoin. Uh, so that's like, they're getting, so it's it definitely will make it so that people with like worse hardware, for example, or, or, uh, or different, or, or different power uh, costs uh, get shaken out. Uh, they have to improve their hardware or leave. Uh, because this isn't a charity, um, so that's so th that happens every having. Um, we will see two things happen: we'll see the miners leave, and we will also see new machines come online, right? New that's constantly right. happening, right? So every six months, every year to six months, uh, new hardware comes out that you know puts out even more terra uh, uh, terra hashes. Uh, I think I think we're at terra hashes still, um, you know, per yeah. watt. And uh, because I, I I looked into this for a while and like the maximum, the best machines were all, you know, the, the highest producing machines were all producing about 5,000, 6,000 watts. And that has always been true. And so, well, I mean, not always, but uh, for the last four or five years, that's always been true, even though the uh, terawatts, uh, sorry, Ted saying watts, the, te the terra ha hash. Yeah, the hash power. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah the, right. The hash power has been dramatically increasing um, from. Right, right. The first because they're looking at, yeah. Because um, they're basically now, they really matured, if I can say it like that, into yeah. really working businesses with the model. And so yeah. ob obviously they have all their installation to put those miners in a in racks, right? In like really yeah. tons of like big installations. So I guess that they have this, you know, technical envelope where they don't yeah. want it to hit like a certain threshold for electricity and then gets the most, yeah. the most out There's, of it. Right. It, so they're, they're definitely doing systems engineering, but also the machines themselves are getting better. Um, yeah. As new chips come out. New, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, new, yeah. Um, I think so, that's a concern that new miners often don't don't take into account. They're looking at a comp like, you know, like a website, which is saying like, Hey, with this kind of hardware, you can make that amount of money. Cause usually they also look at it when it's high and yeah. then they're like, Hey, okay, now I'll be able to get my money back in like a year. And after it's all profit, but then by right. the time, by like six months, the price is already completely different. Well, but then there's yeah. also a new machine that comes. There's a new yes, machine, exactly. Yeah. And now your numbers go down because as yeah. this machine is now stronger, it makes you weaker as part of the network, right? As a share right. of the network. So yeah. it is, uh, it's not easy. Yeah.